Hello, children of God. I want you to help me with something. It's kind of a fun thing, I think. Would you like to make some noise for me? Well, here's the deal. Here's the way it's going to work. I'm going to hold out my hands like this with my palms open. And that means that it's your turn to make noise. You can make all of the noise you want. But when I close my fist like this, that means stop. So you have to watch while you're making that noise. Because once you see me stop, you've got to stop and be absolutely quiet. Think you, think you can do that? All right, let's give it a try. And make some noise. Lots of noise, lots of noise, crazy sounds. Whoa, okay, oh, stop. Pretty good. I'll bet we could get that quiet stop even better. Let's try it one more time, ready? Make some noise, make some noise, make some noise. Whoa. Not bad. You got that stop down pretty good. Now, think about this. What if you could control other things just by telling them to do or not to do something? Or what if you could control things just by a motion of your hands? For instance, have you ever been outside when it was really rainy? So rainy that like the second you stepped out, you got pretty wet. What if in all that rain, you could tell the sky to stop and it would just stop? That would be pretty wild, wouldn't it? Or maybe you've been to the beach where all those waves are going all over the place. What if you could just hold back the waves and say, don't do it, don't come near me? That'd be pretty wild too. Well, that actually happened in our Bible story today. It happened with Jesus and his disciples. You see, Jesus had been teaching and healing and doing a lot of amazing things. And they went out on a lake one day. He and his disciples, they got in a boat and they were going to go across this lake. It was a very big lake. And they were in a fishing boat. And Jesus was very tired because he'd been working all day. So he decided to hunker down for a nap. Maybe you should hunker down for a nap. So Jesus went into the bottom of the boat, the other little area of the boat, and he fell asleep. And a big storm came up. A big storm that nobody could stop. Just like sometimes I can't stop this one from interrupting. And there were waves, and there was rain, and there was wind, and all this stuff was going on. And the disciples, well, they were fishermen. Some of them were. So, I mean, they were pretty good at handling boats but they couldn't figure out what to do. And they were getting really scared. I'm like, this is a bad storm. What if the boat turns over? What if we fly out? What if it breaks apart? What are we gonna do? They couldn't get it down under control. And so finally they said, you know what? We need to wake up Jesus. I don't know how he's sleeping in all this, but he is. So they went to get Jesus. They said, aren't you aware of what's happening? Don't you see there's a huge storm? We're gonna die. Don't you care that we're about to drown? Wake up, help us. What do we do? And here's what Jesus did. Jesus got up and just as easily as this, he said, peace, be still. He just told the waves and the wind and everything that was going on around. He said, stop, be still, be quiet. Calm down, ocean. Well, not ocean, it was a lake, but you know. And the disciples were pretty amazed because as soon as he did that, instantly it stopped. It wasn't like it gradually subsided, didn't kind of start to quiet down. It just stopped. All the rain and all the wind and all the waves and everything that was happening, poof, was gone. Nothing was ever happening again. It was just poof, out of there. And the disciples said, whoa, we've seen this guy perform some pretty neat miracles, but he just told the wind what to do. Who is this guy? I mean, they had seen Jesus doing some things, but this kind of finally started to sink in, you would think. Even the wind and the waves obey him. Now, that's a pretty amazing story. And it, of course, reminds us of the power that Jesus had because he was God. But it's amazing in another way as well. You see, that story was awesome for what happened that day. But it's also awesome for us now because it reminds us that Jesus always has that power and that he can calm storms in us too. Well, that sounds strange. What kinds of storms do we have in us? Well, do you ever feel afraid or worried or anxious about something that's gonna happen? Sometimes when you feel afraid of things, it kind of almost feels like there's a storm going on inside you. It's kind of like, 
Like if this was us, these are things that are afraid, that are fearful for us. What's something you might be afraid of? Yeah, I don't really like the dark either or giant dogs that are barking at me. Yeah, those are some scary things. Well, our fear kind of makes it feel like stuff is just bubbling up in us. Like there's a storm inside of us. But the love of God and the power of Jesus can calm that down. It can just make it like it never was. Quiet, smooth, peaceful, and just soothe that storm that's inside of us. So when we're afraid, when we don't know what's going to happen, when things feel stormy, when it feels like there's waves, when it feels like there's big rains and winds inside of us, we know that we can go to God. We know that we can pray. We can read these things in the Bible that remind us of his power. And we know that we can trust him, that he will calm our hearts. Now, it doesn't always happen right away. You might be in a big rainstorm and it might not stop right away. You might feel anxious and still kind of feel a little anxious, but we know that God is there, that his presence will comfort us, that he promises to always be with us and to always help us and that everything that we do will work out because he is in control and he has power. So no matter what else is going on in our lives, no matter what else we're anxious or nervous or afraid of, we know he is with us. And we know that if he can tell the wind and the waves, calm down and they'll stop. Well, he can calm us as well and guide our hearts and always be with us. So why don't we pray for that comfort and that strength and thank God for giving it to us. Dear God, thank you for being in control. You have power over the weather and you have power over me. Thank you for your presence. Help it to calm and comfort me. Give me peace. I know I can find it in you. Thank you for your son, Lord. In his name, amen. Well, hopefully that's a fun way to share the story of Jesus calming the storm. Maybe you don't have as many interruptions too, but we do have new videos coming out every week with message ideas and craft ideas, and sometimes the photobombing cat. So feel free to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Use this however you like or don't. I hope that it helps you and blesses your ministry. Make some disciples. We'll see you next time.